Hello, my name is Andrew Murdoch Fries, and PAD 5397 by Dr. Billing. Today we'll be talking about culture and emergency management and how it's related and why it's important to understand culture. This oral presentation will define and explain what the meaning of culture is, defining emergency management, why under, understanding culture is important in emergency management plans, and how to achieve culture competency so we can have the most effective possible emergency management plan when dealing with other countries. For starters, we will define culture. For a basic definition of culture, it means the beliefs, customs, arts, languages, and the way of thinking, behaving, or working that exists in a place or organization. For example, when dealing with a response to New York, to a third world country in Latin America, to Europe, each plan is going to take a different assessment for each of the pe for the people living in that community. To continue on defining culture, but more in relation to emergency management, Lindell provides us an example which states that the environment humans occupy consists of natural and technological components, each of which contains elements that pose a variety of risks to the human occupants and their property. These risks include both health and safety dangers for the occupants themselves and dangers to the physical or material culture that was created by the, by the occupants in the country. Now defining emergency management. As we know, emergency management is a five-step process. Emergency management is an organized analysis, planning, decision-making, and assignment of available resources to mitigate, prepare, respond to, and recover from the effects of all hazards natural disasters, emergency planning team, and then your four-step cycle in a picture. Why we must understand these two and tie culture into emergency management? We must understand culture in order to have an effective emergency management plan so there is not a cultural clash between the community in need and the responders, as FEMA likes to explain. In emergency management, it is a multiple, multiple agency environment that is implemented on the local and state level, with multiple agencies working together on two different levels. These planners need to understand each other and the culture that they're working for so they can achieve an effective emergency management plan. How to achieve culture competency. This is a five-step process or five elements that must be addressed when trying to achieve this. First, you need awareness and acceptance of differences. Second, awareness of one's own culture. Understand, third, understanding and managing the dynamic and difference. Fourth, development of cultural knowledge. And five, the ability to adapt activities to fit different cultural contexts. This source was from the U.S. Development of Health and Human Services website. With the first step, we need to be aware and accept the different cultures that make up this world. Responders and survivors are often different in their racial, ethnic, or language. By improving communication skills and becoming self-aware of biases and stereotypes, emergency managers can provide quality care to diverse populations two people from two different cultures, the responders from a, one culture and the person affected is from another. Awareness of one's own culture values. Examining personal prejudice and cultural stereotypes by performing an individual self-assessment can help public health officials and emerging managers become aware of their own culture value and biases. Understanding and managing the dynamics of differences. This refers to the ways cultures express and interpret information and data. This information promotes cultural understanding and improves the quality of services provided by the individual. Here we have Dr. Nicole Lurie. She is Assistant Secretary for the Preparedness for Disaster Preparedness and Human Services, and she is, helps interpret data from all these different cultures to achieve the goal at hand. Fourth, 
you need to develop a cultural knowledge. So one must get a grasp on beliefs and customs of culture groups in an area that can benefit emergency managers with information to provide timely and appropriate services. Can't ask your phone, huh? Ability to adapt it to fit different culture contexts. This is the ability to, to appropriate, adapt, and modify services offered to fit the cultural context of the community. So here we, now we see why it is important to understand culture and emergency management. If we do not have a grasp on a country's culture, we, a, a diverse team will not be able to go into that country and have an effective plan. Thank you.